Hi everyone, it's Lisa Mears here, and today I'm going to be making two cards using the Spellbinders Clear Stamp of the Month, the Spellbinders Small Die of the Month, and the 3D Embossing Folder of the Month for March of 2023. So here's a look at the clear stamp of the month. This stamp set is called Butterfly Burst. It is a four by six stamp set and it has some butterflies. You can see that the butterflies are comprised of a different floral prints. So you can see some flowers and leaves in those butterflies. There are also some solid stamps of some flowers and there are some sentiments. And if you belong to the stamp with the coordinating dies, you'll get the dies to cut all of these stamps out. I'll also be making a card using the small die of the month and this month it's called Floral Butterfly Card Front. It is a die that when cut twice it will cover an A2 size card, so four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then it has all of these layering dies. So you have the butterfly layering dies. There are also some flower dies that you can die cut and fill in the butterfly wings with those flower die cuts. And there's also a die that says just because. I'm also going to be using the 3D embossing folder of the month and this one is called Spring Burst. And I will have links to all of the club information down in the description box if you're interested in joining a Spellbinders club. So for my first card, I'm using the small die of the month and I have two pieces of white cardstock that I cut into three by four and three eighth panels and I'm also using the scrapbook.com double-sided adhesive sheets and I'm going to turn my white cardstock into one big sticker so I'm just going to place the panel on top of the adhesive sheet. I'm going to do one at a time and I have cut two panels because I need to cut that large die two times. So I'm just going to put my cardstock here on the adhesive sheets and then I'm just going to trim this down. The part of the adhesive, the sticky part here, I'm just going to cut off and I'll just save that for another project. So I'll just snip this with my scissors and then I will cut these panels into two because I'm going to run the large die two times through my die cutting machine. And the reason why I'm using the adhesive sheets is because I want to make my white cardstock one entire sticker. So so that I don't have to worry about putting glue on the back of my die once it's die cut. It'll just be easier. You can see the intricacy of that die, so I don't want to have to worry about trying to get glue on there. So I'm using my Spellbinders P6 Black Machine. I love this little die cutting machine. This new machine actually comes with the universal plate system which has several different plates so that you can get a better cut or if you're using an embossing folder, a better impression each time. So I'm using the platform base, the platform top, the two pink cutting plates, as well as the shim. And then once that comes out of the die cutting machine, I'll just use my tool in one to loosen that cardstock from the die. And then I'll also use the tool in one again, just to loosen all of those little pieces from that intricate die. And because I did use double-sided adhesive tape on this die, some of those pieces do stay in the die. So I'll just use the brush side of my tool in one to get those out. I cut down a white card panel to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I'm just going to add my die to the bottom half of my card panel and it will fit perfectly. So I die cut another one and I'm going to put that one at the top of the panel. So as you can see, when you die cut that die two times, you can put it on your card panel and it will fit perfectly on an A2 size card. So I just die cut that in white cardstock and added it to white cardstock as well. But I'm going to bring in some colored cardstock from the scrapbook.com Harvest Smooth Cardstock Pack. And I'm going to use the colored cardstock for the flowers on my card. So one thing I did was I did die cut the die again out of this teal colored cardstock and just use the negative pieces from that die and I can fill in some of the flowers on this die cut piece. 
So you can see here, I'm just putting a few in. I'm not gonna do too many because that would be an awful lot of little pieces, but I just wanted to show you if you do like die cutting and doing paper piecing, this is one thing that you can do to make some of the flowers on this die cut stand out. So from the same paper pad, I die cut the flowers out of some white card stock as well as the teal and I'm just going to piece the teal flower on top of the white background piece. I also die cut the butterfly wings out of some of the orange cardstock from that paper pad. It's kind of like a burnt orange. And I'm going to be putting these flowers on the wings to decorate those wings. Now I also want to let you know that the stamps, the butterfly stamps from the clear stamp of the month, you can actually stamp over these die cut pieces or you can stamp over the opening on the card front that I just created using those stamps, which I'm not going to do that today, but I just wanted to let you know that they do coordinate with each other. After I add the flowers to the butterfly wings, I'm gonna add the butterfly to the card front and notice that I'm only adding glue to the center of the butterfly. And that's because I want the wings to have some dimension. So they're going to be popped up on the card. So here I'm just adding the center of the butterfly. I just die cut that out of white. And then I added another butterfly at the top and I die cut the words just because and added them to the center. And now I'm just going to take some of the Spellbinders Crystal Mix and I'm going to add them to the flowers on the card. So I love the clean and simple look of this card design with only a few colors and the rest white cardstock, but you can use any color cardstock that you wish. And remember, if you have the clear stamp of the month, you can even stamp it out onto these butterflies because both of those clubs coordinate together. So I'll go ahead and add that panel to an A2 size white card base and that will complete my card. So if you look closely, you can see all of the beautiful detail on those butterflies. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop up the wings. It adds for some nice dimension. So that will complete this card. And for my next card, I'm going to bring in the 3D embossing folder of the month. I'm using a piece of the teal cardstock from that scrapbook.com harvest paper pad. It's the same cardstock that I used for the flowers on the previous card. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this through my die cutting and embossing machine. And if you're using the universal plate system, the sandwich that you will use is the platform base and then the embossing folder and then you'll have the adapter plate. And look at that beautiful detail. And what I love about this cardstock is that it has a white core and when you run it through the embossing machine, because the cardstock is also on the thinner side, the white core will actually show through the raised impression. And I'm just using some sandpaper over that embossed design just to bring a little bit more of that white core to the surface. I mean it already shows on the surface but I wanted just to have a little bit more show through. So I stamped the two butterflies and I'm going to use my Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens to color them up. I stamped them with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink onto some Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I'm only using two colors and the blender to color them up. You can see that most of the detail is black. There's only a few flowers that I need to color, so it's very simple coloring. And I'm using the Deep Vermilion, which is the red color, and then adding the blender to blend that out. And then I'll also be bringing in the yellow to color up some of the other flowers that are in that stamp. I will color both butterflies the same exact way, but I'll only show the coloring for one. And then I'm going to use the coordinating dies to die cut the butterflies. I stamped out the sentiment, have the best birthday, and I'll also die cut the sentiment. I cut my embossed panel down to four by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the butterflies to that panel. So I'm just gonna add the two butterflies and also add the sentiment to that panel. And then I cut a piece of that orange cardstock from the same paper pad, cut it to four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And I'll add the butterfly panel to that cardstock. 
and then I'll finish that up by adding it to an A2 size card base. And then the last thing I do is just add some of the Spellbinders crystal mix to some of the areas of the butterflies. And that will complete my cards for today. If you're interested in finding out more about Spellbinders clubs, I'll leave some links to these products in the description box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.